Welcome to Harry Potter Trivia with Farmville Public Library. I am Heather, your Hogwarts librarian and host for the evening. Tonight we welcome all of you witches and wizards, muggles, squibs, and even dementors. The trivia game is family friendly, so be sure to bring the kids or invite your family and friends to play. If they miss uh, tonight's trivia, you can rewatch anytime on the Farmville Public Library Facebook page or YouTube page at Farmville Public Library. There are three rounds with 10 questions each. So even if you've just seen a couple of the movies or if you've watched all the movies, read all the books, feel like you're ready to be the Minister of Magic, we've got a little bit of something for everyone. Round one, first year students exam, even Neville Longbottom could ace this round. Round two, owl examination, also known as ordinary wizarding levels. Will you score an outstanding or a troll? Round three, nastily exhausting wizarding test, also known as the newts. You may need a time turner to pass this round. The trivia game has three rounds. There are 10 questions in each round with 10 seconds between each question. Feel free to pause the game if you need more time, but there's no need to cast a curving spell on this exam as it has been bewitched with an anti-cheating spell from Professor McGonagall. Participants, you can also enter to win a Kindle Fire 7 during our drawing this summer. Leave a comment, email hharden at farmvillenc.gov. You can submit your game board in person or you can download a game board from the Farmville Public Library website at farmvillepubliclibrary.org slash summer. And of course, the most important rule is to have fun. And if you've been sorted into a Hogwarts house, be sure to leave your Hogwarts house in the comments so we'll know who you're playing for. Round one, first year students exams. Question one, when Harry receives his Hogwarts letter, where is his bedroom located inside of the Dursley's home? Question two, what platform do students go to when they want to board the train to Hogwarts? And this is just one of several magical vehicles in Harry Potter, including the night bus and the flying car, which is my mom's favorite. Question three, what is the name of the train that transports students to and from Hogwarts? Question four, this area filled with magical shops is where Hogwarts students do their school shopping. And I'm sure there are some students and teachers that would love to do their back to school shopping here. Question five, first year students are assigned to their Hogwarts houses by the blank blank. Question six. How many Hogwarts houses are there? Question seven, what are the names of the Hogwarts houses? Question eight, Harry, Hermione, and Ron all belong to which Hogwarts house?
Question nine, what sport does Harry play at Hogwarts? Bonus, if you know what position he plays here. Question 10. Harry has a famous scar. What is the shape and where is it located on his body? Round 2. Your owls, or the outstanding wizarding levels. Question one. What is the title of the first Harry Potter book and film released in America? Question two. What article of clothing does Harry use to sneak around Hogwarts? And of course, if I had this clothing, I'd use it to sneak into the library. Question three. Most wizards and witches will not utter the name of you know who or he who must not be named. Who is? the Dark Lord. Question four. Dobby receives this item from Harry, declaring him a free elf. Question five, what ghostly figures guard the Azkaban prison? And the picture is Lego Harry battling these creatures defending Sirius Black. Question six, what is the name of the wizarding newspaper based out of London? It includes the byline of Reader Skeeter. Question seven, who is the ghost of Gryffindor House? This is my favorite ghost and one of my favorite characters. Question eight, this plant can be used in healing potions or the sound of its cry can kill. Question nine, what is the name of Harry's owl? Question 10. This substance can be used to travel through a network of fireplaces. I wonder if this is how Santa Claus travels on Christmas Eve. All right, take a breath and prepare for the nastily exhausting wizard test if you want to get a job with the Ministry of Magic, you're gonna to need to score an outstanding on your newts. Question one, what is the first sentence of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Hint, it includes an address. And if you need another hint, it begins, Mr. and Mrs. Blank of number blank, blank drive, were proud to say that they were perfectly blank, 
Thank you very much. Question two. With this potion, Hermione accidentally turns herself into a cat-human fusion, while Ron and Harry use it to disguise themselves as two Slytherin classmates to get information from Draco. What is the name of the potion? Question three. A person who is born into a wizarding family, but who doesn't have magical powers is called a blank. Hint, Argus Filch is one. Question four. The Marauder's map appears to be a plain piece of parchment until you tap it with your wand and say this 10 word phrase. This is one of my favorite lines of the series. Question five, name the four Hogwarts students, now alumni, who created the Marauders map. Just first names is okay, or if you can remember the first and last, you get five points for your house. Question six, Ron's pet rat, Scabbers, is revealed to actually be who? This is one of the students who created the Marauders map. And if you could have a pet at Hogwarts, would you have a rat, an owl, a cat, or something else? Question seven. What is the name of Lord Voldemort's snake? Not a pet that I would have at Hogwarts. Question eight, which substance is destructive enough to destroy a horcrux when exposed to it? Question nine, what are the last two lines of the book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows? Question 10, a bit of a spoiler if you haven't gotten this far in the series. What did Harry and Jenny name their first child? Bonus question, Ron says that when in doubt, Hermione goes to this place. you'll find your librarians here. I declare you all winners of tonight's trivia. One billion points to your house and you're the winner of the Goblet of Fire. We hope you'll come see us at Farmville Public Library. You can see us in person or online. If uh, you missed any of tonight's trivia or you would like to invite a friend or family to play, it'll be available on the library's Facebook and YouTube pages. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Farmville Public Library. Come see us in person. The library is open Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m., Friday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m., and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And we're located temporarily at 3762 West Wilson Street, Farmville. 
Give us a call at 252-753-3355 or visit the library anytime at the library's website or email. Website is farmvillelibrary.org and you can email the staff library at farmvillenc.gov. Just want to remind you that the building is open to all ages including children. Uh, you can come in to print documents, copy documents, or use the computers as well. Here are the answers. Round one, feel free to pause. Let us know if you got an outstanding or a troll. Round two, The answers to round three. And finally, the answer to the bonus question. When in doubt, Hermione goes to the library. And we hope you'll come visit us anytime at Farmville Public Library. Tonight's trivia is available on the Facebook and YouTube page, and you can also watch other trivia, including fairy tale, 80s, 90s, and lots of other ones on our Facebook page. All right, take care.